What are the origins of Geislich, known today as a leading provider of regenerative biomaterials? Well, the story starts in Switzerland with the processing and refinement of animal byproducts. Over time, Geislich has acquired a vast knowledge in bone, tissue, and collagen handling. Zurich Slimegasse, or Glue Lane, bears witness to the history of Geislich. Here, in 1851, Mr. Heinrich Gletli and Heinrich Geislich founded Switzerland's first glue factory. Before long, however, they were forced to leave the neighborhood, whose population was on the rise. In those days, glue factories were associated with a number of unpleasant phenomena, including the harsh smell of boiling bones. In 1867, the two men found the perfect spot in Schlieden, a windy location rich in water and served by the railway. Over the years, a wide range of products were produced here, including binders, fertilizer, animal feed and gelatin grit. This is also where they began to excel in collagen processing. Most notable, however, is Geislich's household adhesive that many Swiss will recognize from home and school. There were a number of entrepreneurial minds in Geislich family. One of them, Edward Geislich Sr., joined the company at a young age and was to make a lasting impression on it. He was the first resident of Schlieden to have installed electricity and the first to have introduced the telephone and allowed many of the villagers to use it. He also sponsored the Limat Valley tram project and funded the building of schools. In 1899, he acquired the Joseph Meyer button factory in Volhusen, which his son transformed into a glue and fertilizer plant. With so much on his plate, Edward Geislich Sr. had little time for his citizenly duties. And around this time, he was fined a single Swiss franc for failing to vote. Geislich's commitment to welfare of its staff goes back a long way. Employees were offered accident protection long before this became the standard in Switzerland. Even today, the company benefits from many long-term members of staff and has maintained its family culture. During the Second World War, the Swiss Confederation commissioned Geislich to develop a food supplement to combat bone atrophy. The company stepped up to the mark and used its knowledge to help alleviate the deficiencies brought about by the war. This led Geislich to becoming a household name in the pharmaceutical industry. At a later stage, Geislich extended its range with other specialist products, including Taraline, a substitute for antibiotics. The 60s saw the start of the company's drive for internationalization, with the first affiliate established in Great Britain and called Geislich Sons Limited. In 1983, Geislich Pharma started to become what it is today. One day, Dr. Peter Geislich was browsing an orthodontics journal and became completely enthralled by a report about a conference in Washington. A certain Dr. Philip Boyne was reporting remarkable successes with the reconstruction of shattered jaw bones using bovine bone. Then and there, Dr. Peter Geislich decided that sterile, pure bone material was something they could manufacture. Just a few weeks later, Dr. Peter Geislich met Dr. Boyne at Loma Linda University in California, and they established that a suitable bone substitute had to closely resemble human bone and needed to be highly purified, unlike the materials previously used by Dr. Boyne. By 1986, the first clinical results were available for Geislich BioOS. Prior to this, a lot of work had gone into researching how best to remove proteins from bovine bones. The patented process continues to be a closely guarded trade secret at Geislich. Many universities and dental surgeons were taken with a breakthrough product and carried out tests and research on a wide range of indications. To date, the results have been documented in over 1,000 publications. It is estimated that every 18 seconds sees the use of Geislich BioOS somewhere in the world. In the field of dental bone regeneration, Geislich BioOS is regarded as a reference product and has been the market leader for many years. Similarly, Geislich Orthos is a go-to natural bone replacement material for orthopedics. The company's pioneering approach and collagen expertise led to a remarkable development in 1996 when Geislich BioGuy became the first resorbable collagen membrane for oral tissue regeneration. It soon established itself in the marketplace against traditional synthetic membranes, simplifying surgical procedures and improving wound healing. Again, based on its success in dentistry, Geislich developed a similar product for orthopedics. Today, ChondroGuy is the leading natural collagen matrix in cartilage regeneration. 
Together with prominent clinicians, Geislich also developed a new amic surgical procedure for the single-step treatment of cartilage damage. The growth of Geislich Pharma has spawned three business units, biomaterials for dentistry, medical for pharmaceuticals, and surgery for orthopedic products. The international network has now grown to numerous subsidiary companies, and Geislich products are now available in almost 100 countries. In 2003, Dr. Peter Geislich and Geislich Pharma founded the Osteology Foundation to give them the great opportunity to promote discussion between academia, research, and industry. Focused on the USA and Canada is the Osteoscience Foundation, launched in 2013. Geislich's Pharma's latest accomplishment is the Geislich Mucograft. The product opens up new prospects in soft tissue regeneration and waivers the need for painful additional operations to remove gum tissue from the palate. In May 2014, Dr. Peter Geislich was awarded a great honor, the Loma Linda University Distinguished Humanitarian Award for his humanitarian commitment to patient welfare and the ongoing development of regenerative medicine. Dr. Peter Geisley passed away on the 23rd of July, 2014. His scientific commitment, values, and foresight have had a huge influence on the company over the last few decades. A new generation of scientists and entrepreneurs is now committed to continuing his work and is bound to ensure further progress based on a long tradition of regenerative products.